day of trade on the Lal Street. So as the Nifty moved in a 150-point narrow range yet again and ended at a three-week closing low, the Sensex also cracked more than 200 points by the end of the day, taking cues from all the global markets. In fact, the mid-caps followed the benchmark indices this time and ended 9 tenths of a percent lower in trade, losing most of the gains they made yesterday. The Bank Nifty wasn't spared either and it too saw a 1% odd being shaved off. Anuj Singhal is standing by to decode today's market action. Anuj, a volatile day of trade to say the least. But uh, how does it look going forward? Well, uh, a remarkably bad day for the market. I, I say remarkably bad because the market had a bit of a gap up, took out yesterday's high, made a big move almost towards 7900, would have sucked in a lot of bulls and after that had an intraday fall of almost 130, 140 point and closed that low point of the day closed that lower than yesterday's low. A lot of this was because of European weakness, especially the German market, the way that was reacting and the bulls got haunted by that. Clutch of heavyweights led the decline and today, after a long time, we had earnings disappointment as well in some of the trader favorite names. So that added to the weakness. Let's talk about the stocks that led the decline. IT stocks right on top. Infosys uh, has become from strongest stocks, one of the weakest stocks. So. Today it was down quite a bit, down about 2%, TCS, HCL Tech, all of these stocks were lower. Pharma stocks were weak today, led by Lupin, that was down about 3%. Sun Pharma and Dr. Reddy's also lost ground. Some other nifty losers included ICICI Bank, which has been remarkably weak over the last three or four days and has seen delivery-based selling. Then, of course, stocks like uh, ITC and Reliance as well were dragging the market. On the gaining side, Aurobindo Pharma looked good. Telecom stocks did well, led by Bharti Airtel and Tata Motors DVI was higher. Outside the index, today you had a lot of earnings disappointment and news disappointment. Stocks, stocks, stocks like TVS Motor reacted violently to its earnings. The margins missed in particular. Intellect Design missed its yearly revenue guidance. So that stock was lower. And Atul Auto posted a, sh a bizarre set of or, or dismal set of uh, uh, numbers in the monthly sales. And that was also down quite a bit. But there were some gainers as well. Stocks like uh, Rulta, which was higher in trade today, about 11% gain in Rolta, Anantaraj was higher, and BGR Energy as well gained ground in trade. But all in all, you'll have to say that today goes down as a, as a disappointing session for the bulls. And now the worry is that, is this market now going back towards the 50-day moving average of 75.50? That's something that we'll be watching out for. All right, Anuj, let's see if the next couple of days shirk off the kind of jitters we saw today. Thanks for joining in with that. But uh, on to the big CNBC TV 18 exclusive interview, the three